pick a side that makes you more comfortable, you know. So Charlie would normally definitely pull towards the dogs. And uh, Mum's worry was that he would get into altercations, being, you know, the type of dog he is. And so we're just showing you here. Right, turn him right. Beautiful. We pull on. Let's go. Good. But normally, if you were walking along here and you saw me, what would you do, literally? What would you, you would have had to cross the street? Or stop. Or stop until this was gone. Which would ultimately, in the future, made him antisocial. Because he doesn't get socialised. <clears throat> so I want you to take him near the, 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 any dogs you want, doesn't really matter. Beautiful. Nice, there, yeah, that was good. You, you listen to videos. Kind of like, one, two, walk on. Stitch, Lilo. I want you to let him meet them and go near them and people see. So what you're going to see here is how look how he's following, trying to follow the female. Stitch will just stand like a statue. <laughs> but you can see here how the hormones then dis, uh, lead the conversation. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. You know, beautiful nature, beautiful state of mind, but he's definitely hormonal about yeah. it. The drooling uh, and. Yeah. <laughs> sweet, sweet nature. But that, that's something you need to look at, is this hormones. Look at the drooling and... So again, like I say, he doesn't meet by shaking hands, he meets by grabbing boobs. Look at it. Nice. But even that, that would have been him just not taking your opinion and just pulling you off your feet to meet them, wouldn't it? So go to your drive and turn around again. All of a sudden, him learning the leash, he's not caring about now. He's like, yeah, there's dogs. Come on in, Charlie. Pull him through it, pull him through it. Help him out. Yay. Look at that drool. Gee whiz. Let him meet Rex. Relax, relax the leash. There you go. Oh, there's, there's his wee boyfriend. Look, there's his wee playmate. Good job. Good job. But there's a lot of hormones there, Mum. Oh, look at it. Slavers everywhere. Gee whiz. Hormones, and that's why I I advise if you're not metering, this is different to other trainers as well. And I I don't care. I give my opinion on what I know that and seen is I if you're getting all this hormonal behaviour meeting, and you're not mating, neuter that dog. You know because any meat's like a bit of a sex pest. You know all this. You're gonna go near yeah. the two Frenchies, right? Stitch in. Walk towards them. Right, come on. And if he wants to meet, he can totally meet. Just to, sh to show the impact of the hormones. I mean, heaven forbid one of them peed or something, he would start frigging, well, that's the female, look, she's ready to see it. She's, oh, I like you, but all this, look at the drooling and, you know. Okay. So you're just way more likely to have an issue with something. Yeah. You know, does he need neutered? No. You know, he's a beautiful nature and all that, but you've got a lot of extra baggage yeah. there to be aware of. Right, come on. Come on. Yeah, pull him through it. You're in charge, Mum. Nice, well done. Very good, very good. Hey, you too. Damn it. Much better. Hormones, man. Hormones.